Hey guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen getting ready to make some quick Martha White strawberry cheesecake muffins. See how easy that is? Just add milk. That's what I'm talking about, Martha. That's what I'm talking about. Make it easy for me, girl. Anyway, so I got four packs. Um, I did read the instructions. They are real easy. Um, half a cup of milk uh, per package. So half, half, half. That gives me two whole uh, cups of milk. And I've got my two cups of milk here. That's it. Quick and easy. It gets no easier than this. Heat the oven to 400 degrees. I've already got the oven preheated. 400 degrees. Lightly spray muffin pans. I'm going to spray my muffin pans over there. Um, muffin mix. Uh, the milk. Whip it up and put it in your pan. Bake at 400 degrees for 14 to 16 minutes or until golden brown. Toothpick and soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We know all that. All right. Let's get into this quick, quick muffin. All right, I got my bowl already. We is ready already. So, show y'all how quick and easy it is to make some strawberry cheesecake muffins. Let me smell this mix. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells real good. It smells sweet too. But one thing about the Martha White, I've cooked uh, quite a few of her um, muffins on my channel. I'll try to remember to leave it linked um, at the end of the video. But I've cooked a lot of Martha White uh, muffins. And they are pretty decent. I really like them. They taste good. They're not too sweet. You know. They just got the just right uh, the right amount of sweetness in them. You know, I got to have a little sweet. Now, don't give me no bland muffins. Nah, I'm good on that. If it ain't got sugar, I add it. So, but Martha White, I never have to add anything to her um, muffin mix. Her muffin mix is pretty decent. Cutting these open. Make sure y'all can see. Got that mix all in there. Okay, got our four packages all in there. I'm just going to use my little mixer thing just to crush up some of these clumps. Yeah, because sometimes this stuff be too clunky and it makes clunks so I like to go in ahead of time and kind of mash it up a little bit all right I think that's good enough let me move that get my fork that's what I'm gonna mix this up with something quick and easy I made a little hole in the middle there oh and it's got nice size uh pieces of strawberries in here too all right just pour our milk in the middle of our mix. We're just going to pour that all in there quick and easy. That's what this is. Quick and easy. Like I said, the package said half a cup of milk per package. So that's what gave me the whole two cups of milk. Slowly get this mixed in for y'all. I've never had uh, Martha White strawberry cheesecake. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I've never seen these before. So I don't know if they, you know, just getting them to my area or what. But I was like, oh, I got to I fixed her um, on the channel. I've done, I think, the plain cornbread. I've done the blueberry. I've done the banana nut for Martha White on the channel. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else, but yeah, I've cooked quite a few of her muffin mix and they are pretty decent. And you know what? I forgot to tell y'all and it's cheap. One package is like a dollar and some change and it's affordable. See, so come on now. You can cook muffins for the whole thing. You can get four packs for like what? What's that like six bucks for four packs of muffins and you can, and this mix is going to make a lot of muffins, but y'all know I ain't doing no small muffins. Won't do nothing small over here. Mm -mm. Don't give me no small muffins. So, we're going to have to make some big muffins. I like the big muffins. Sometimes I like the little mini chocolate chip muffins. Sometimes. But not be in my mood. But yeah, we're going to get this mixed up real good. Make 
Should we get inside? It's all mixed up. Scraping that bottom. And I like using my glass bowl so that way I can look underneath and make sure everything's all mixed up down there. So, make sure I got them chunks all worked out in my mix. Get my pan sprayed over here, my muffin pan. Yeah, we making big muffins, baby. Big muffins. Big or go home. Go big or go home. So, I think I got this mixed up good enough. Looks good. Make sure I mix the top. Y'all know I always tell y'all, make sure you mix the top of your mix. All right, that's good. That is good, good, good. Make sure I got everything off my fork. We not even no product behind. We are not. Okay, so let me move this. Put that in the sink. I'm going to get my spoon so we can scoop this in. Let's get our muffin pan sprayed. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a towel. Wipe all this excess oil off. Uh oh. Yeah, I just spray right on in there. And I like um I like moving the uh spray uh the oil spray. I like uh, making sure my pan is coated real good. I don't need no muffins sticking to the side. I don't need it being hard to take my muffins out. So you gotta make sure you spray your pan real good. And you know what? That also helps your uh, muffins cook too. That oil. All right, so let's get our muffin pan here. All right, I've got my spoon, the little spoon that's gonna be helping. Let me give y'all a real close look at that mix. And see the chunks of strawberry in there? Me bring it in for y'all. See those chunks of strawberries in there? Oh, it's gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be big, and it's gonna be big. All right, so let's start scooping our mix in here. And usually they tell you to um for the average muffin, they tell you to do like halfway. But when I want to do big muffins, because that's what I do. Um. I usually do it like almost to the top like in order to get those big muffins that I want I first go through and do one scoop I go through and just do my little one scoop of my mix uh oh waste some of my mix over there Let me get that wiped up because y'all know that's going to aggravate me that little spill over there Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I like going through putting like one scoop in first to make sure. But this mix smells really good. And like I told y'all, these four packs are going to give you a lot of muffins. I mean, you know, if you got a family, you know it's me and the three girls. So, but this is going to make a lot of muffins. And since I'm making them big, so it should still make a lot of muffins. I'm going to have to pull out my other muffin pans. Because I know I can see right now, uh, I'm gonna, uh, after I get through with this pan, I'm still going to have tons of muffin mix left. So, you guys know if you've been watching my channel, I got that heart-shaped muffin pan. I'm going to do a couple of those with this leftover muffin mix. So, y'all don't have to see me doing all that. I just wanted y'all to see me doing these muffins. Yeah, I always go through and just do that one scoop first. 
and then I go through and do the second scoop. Just something I do just to make, you know, make sure. Yeah, I like filling mine up. And like I said, the mix smells really good, really sweet. Um, not too sweet. You know, not that annoying sweet. Sweet enough for your muffins. I mean, do you really want sweet, sweet muffins? I, mean, I don't think muffins are supposed to be sweet, sweet like that. But I want to make sure I have the even amount in all of the muffins. And then when I get through, y'all will see, I, I normally shake my pan. You know, just so my muffin mix evens itself out. a little bit more over there but the Martha White line is I like the fact how she's not expensive at all and she does give you a variety of muffins you know she gives you all kinds of different flavors blueberry cornbread all that good stuff Martha be giving you I just really like because it's affordable and it tastes good because sometimes cheap stuff can taste cheap I mean I'm just come on now let's just keep it real sometimes stuff that's not so expensive can taste cheap I can't I don't like that I mean I guess they say you know you get what you pay for you know what I mean but just because it's not that expensive doesn't mean it's got to taste cheap come on now nobody wants to give you good quality for cheap stuff no more they, they want it to be cheap and it's going to taste cheap. Most, most products. But I like the companies that, you know, not expensive, but you still get some kind of, some kind of taste, some kind of flavor, something. All right. So that's enough. I think I have enough mix left so that I can make those heart shape. And see, I just kind of shake it like that so they can even themselves out and shake down in there. Ooh, shake it like that. Shake, shake, shake it down evenly in the pan. Just shake it, shake it like that. And the muffins, they look, everybody looks even. Yeah, it looks pretty even all around. Like the direction said, 400 degrees for 14 to 16 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven, guys. And I will back to show you the grand finale. Quick and easy muffins. I ain't got all day, so... All right, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Our strawberry cheesecake muffins are out of the oven. Took about, about uh, actually, I put a few more minutes on that timer. So instead of 16, it was like 20 minutes. But yeah, look at those nice strawberry cheesecake muffins. All right, guys, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, of course. Thanks, guys. Bye.